What's up dreamers? So our most frequently asked question is where do we stay if we don't stay at the Disney resorts? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dreamers of all ages. That's right, we don't normally stay on Disney property. We actually only have one time and it was at the Fort Wilderness campsites in a tent on the ground. It was just, it was, pro it was a bad decision. <laughs> but anyways, so we don't normally stay at Disney resorts. We try to look on hotels.com is my go-to site. We've stayed so often that I've kind of racked up an ongoing discount with them and for every 10 nights you get a night free. So I like to book through hotels.com but Sometimes during peak or busy season, like right now is March, starts spring break, and during busy season, even the cheaper hotels tend to be a little more expensive, and I'm, I just can't fathom paying, you know, $50 more a night for the same hotel just because it's busier time. So I always look, do my research, try to find the best price, and this time we decided to do Airbnb for the first time. I was a little, you know, were not worried but a little weary I guess about staying in someone else's house like sharing a house with someone but we found this Airbnb for $45 a night um, it has a separate entrance so you're not like even though you're sharing the house with someone it has its own separate side entrance and you can go in and out it has its own bathroom so it's not like I'm gonna wake up in the morning and have to go to the bathroom and mr. and miss Smith are just you know chilling in the same bathroom so thought we'd give you guys a little walk through so you can check it out it's actually super cute I've already been in but I just um, came back to the truck so we can give you the whole the whole run through yeah. got this cute little patio hello Mike hey guys Say hi, Bane. Hi. She has today's paper. If we read the paper, that would be cool. Mike's pretty old. You might want to read the paper. I might, yeah. Let me just get my uh, bifocals out. Yeah. Oh, do you see behind the refrigerator? She even has a folding table and chairs. Oh, uh, yeah. To... She texted and said that. There's a folding chair and stuff. This patio is super cute, though. Look at this super cute room. So cute. So we actually told her, it says that there's supposed to be two guests um, for this booking, but I asked her if it was okay if we had three and brought Bane. So she actually added this little futon here for Bane, which was super sweet got a mini fridge and she showed us and said she put some drinks in here for us coffee maker toaster got some tea and coffee in here got this like old school radio over here we brought our Bluetooth speaker but you never know microwave that's our stuff in the corner. This bed's pretty comfy. We've already done the, you know, jump on it test. Got a little AC unit. All right, let's move it on to the bathroom. Oh, oh, excuse hey guys. me. Hey guys, sorry about that. Just washing my hands. Well, it's a good thing, that's all you're doing. Just washing my hands. <laughs> Man, it smells so good in this bathroom. Yeah, I know you guys can't smell this, but it smells really good. I'm pretty sure it's like some of this stuff. Looks like homemade, I don't know, the voodoo smell good magic. <laughs> voodoo smell good magic. Then we got... So this is really cool, guys. Check this out. So, oh, check, not the toilet. Check this out. <laughs> so, like, the shower, which is roomy for a big guy like me, Just has, has an automatic light. Now, we've tried to turn it on a couple times, and... It won't turn on, and I think it's because it's too bright here during the day. Just get in there. So, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it turns on. It turns on automatically, so you don't have to like fumble for a light switch. <laughs> and I brought my own stuff, but this is this really is cute. <laughs> do I want some of this? Do I want some of that? Do I put my hand down or do I do I just slam? I don't think that's How what do you do. This? I don't think that's what you do. But yeah, so 
that's the walkthrough. This is a pretty cute little place. And now, like, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? What? Shove it in the closet. Put it somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, it was only forty-five dollars a night. We're staying for four nights, I think, with tax and everything. Came up to like one thirty-ish. Or so, yeah, 130 because if you um, sign up for the Airbnb app and you send your link to a friend, then you get $40 off your first booking. So I signed up for the Airbnb app and then I signed Mike up for the Airbnb app under my link and then we just used his um, app to book it so we got that $40 coupon. <laughs> Savings! <laughs> Seriously, can't take them anywhere. So yeah, let us know. Does anybody else like to do the inexpensive um, hotels, Airbnb? You know, vacationing on a budget. Yeah. How do you do it? Disney on a budget. We like to do Disney on a budget. That's why we go, you know, 10 times a year instead of one time, you know, epic. Epic, yeah. So we just go 10 pre epic. pretty awesome times a year. I'm like, yeah, yeah, pretty awesome. It's just, you know, we just try to save money wherever we can. And we're only here to sleep, so... Why spend hundreds of dollars a night for a place to sleep when you can just save some money and crash, get up, and get back to the parks? Exactly. Speaking of, we got to go to Epcot. Yep. So, see you later. And keep dreaming, guys. Bye.